these musicians have spent the past 18 months transforming the Southern Musicians Club in a bid to revitalise the Southern music scene. Jordan Kossel and Matt Hoffman of the band Murgatroyd said a lack of venues for bands to play in Invercargill drove them to the Southern Musicians Club, where they discovered a mountain of potential. We sort of thought, well, we've got nowhere to play, that means nobody else has anywhere to play, right? So mm. um, we volunteered ourselves for the committee, yeah, to try and help it be a hub for the scene, really. There's no other venues that are giving people the option to, to play their own original music in front of in front of audiences so I think that's sort of our purpose down here is is to try and give those people that platform to do their art. Hoffman said Invercargill was often overlooked by bands touring the country and by making changes to the look of the club and installing specialised equipment the city could now offer a venue to suit any band. It's been off the radar for the bigger bands it's been off the radar for for a lot of those smaller sort of more cult type bands as well. So, yeah, I think really getting Invercargill back on the, the sort of touring circuit map um, was is a big priority for us, really. Um, it sometimes feels like we're a wee bit starved for culture down here and it's good to sort of see it starting to trickle back in again. And their efforts have gone a long way towards making it happen, with the club this week announcing a show by 80s New Zealand rock band The Chills. The Chills is definitely yeah. a big deal. <laughs> um, they're, yeah. They're up there, they're right up there. Everyone knows the Chills, they're a big name. Um, yeah, they're a bit of an institution really, aren't they? They are, yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, yeah so that's, that's awesome. That's a real big thing for us. The Southern musicians say they will continue to promote the talent throughout the region, while keeping an ear to the ground for more acts to bring to Invercargill. Sharon Rees, The South Today.